It's that time of year where athletes from all over the world are gearing up for the Olympics, putting in so many years of hard work, they're all vying to get to that top spot and to earn their medals in their respective fields. Well, guess what? I already medaled myself. It's right over here. It is a silver in the Next Generation Indie Book Awards. Um, what that means is this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, indie author uh, book competitions. People Again, up from all around the world, people enter uh, their work what, with a buying for an opportunity to to win, to place, to get it in front of uh, very well-known people in the industry. And um, I had just, I had heard about it this year, or maybe it was last year, um, and I sent off a copy of Reina, the Dragon Slayer, and uh, I, I forgot about it, to be honest with you. Uh, circled back around, and I was pleasantly surprised. It was actually uh, announced on my birthday, the winners and finalists for 2024, and Reina the Dragon Slayer actually became a finalist in the action and adventure category. Um, this is a big deal to me. Uh, even though it's uh, I didn't place, still, when your work gets recognized in any fashion, especially when you get an award for it, a medal, I also received this certificate of, of authenticity, if you can see right there. Um, that's a big deal for any of us who write, is that our words are not only resonating with our audiences, but uh, people in the industry are now taking notice and um, it gives you a sense of validation and it tells you in a way, you know, you're doing good, keep doing it, keep going. And especially a uh, big shout out to the Next Generation Indie Book Awards because for the longest time, independent authors have been uh, almost looked down upon. We're sort of the black sheep of the, the publishing community. Uh, not so much anymore. And it's because of companies like uh, Next Gen who are going out of the way to put emphasis on the talented authors that are in the independent world. Um, the, the reason that we have gone independent is not because we're just shooting out junk, um, which is the, the misconception that a lot of people have. The reason we went independent is because we tired of the gatekeepers. Uh, case in point, I was sending around a novel, my novel Lucky Sevens, which uh, that's a whole took on a whole nother life of its own. I was sending it around to agents and publishers, and I remember very distinctly I got an agent, you know, rejection letter come back to me, and I wound up speaking to this agent at a convention, and I asked her, could you elaborate on why you didn't want to represent it? You know, what could I change? And she said, to be honest, I didn't even read it. <laughs> so there in a nutshell is why a lot of us have chosen the independent route. Um, another reason why, me specifically, my work doesn't fit in a box. And I know there's a lot of other authors who feel this same way. Uh, whereas I, I am a fantasy author, I don't, uh, I'll, I'll lean into the tropes, but like just enough for the audience to know that this is the journey we're going on. For example, with Reina, it's a quest. Uh, as someone recently succinctly put it in, in, in a review, uh, quest, and then in the next one, new quest, r rinse, repeat. Uh, not in a boring way, but in a formulaic way, so you know that's, that's the type of novel that you're going to read. But on the other hand, I don't follow a lot of rules. Uh, my books are an al amalgamation of a bunch of different genres. So um, you, you could say them speculative fiction almost because that encompasses like magic and monsters and, you know, fantasy and the whole, everything's thrown into a pot and stirred up and, and a book comes out of it in that instance. But um, being an indie author gives me the opportunity to explore, you know, I don't have to be pigeonholed as, you know, just this one thing. Uh, Whereas, you know, I am trying to niche down a little bit, just so it's, there's not a lot of confusion. You don't have that sense of being like, I don't want to say trapped, but you're like, you're almost stuck in this 
like I said, a box. And um, I'm sorry to say, but you see it all the time. Like when um, Fifty Shades of Grey came out, and this is way back, everyone started trying to emulate that. Uh, that is not me. I didn't. I don't do that. Um, I I write what I want to write. It's more fun that way. I never try to emulate other authors just to like get the audience. Um, you'll notice that all the covers were the same for a long time, same font and so forth. And it's all general, you know, to get to get eyes on it because oh, they like Fifty Shades of Grey. They'll like mine too. Yes, but. <laughs> but you need to be offering them something new. And I've said this time and time again, this is my number one piece of advice for in, um, not in the, even independent, but for young authors starting out, don't chase the trends. And here's why. Say, I don't know, zombies are back and they're, they're more popular than ever. By the time you write the next Walking Dead or the next Last of Us, it's already old news. You're better off leaning into something that you're passionate about and making it popular. So what all of this circles back to is uh, this right here. So when writing Raina, um, I had so much fun writing this. And I've been told over and over again that it shows because the character, Raina herself, I put a lot of effort in developing this woman right here. I did a lot of research. I read a lot. Um, my books are old school sword and sorcery. They are not romanticy. They are not, um, I don't know, a YA fantasy. Um, they are sort of more almost pulp like Conan esque. And um, so that's what I leaned into when writing this. So I imagine it might have been uh, almost a fresh voice a fresh take on that specific genre because everyone writes about dragons right so in mine um maybe she i made her a little abrasive but it was fun and she's unique and i think that's the most important thing when you're writing for me yeah plot and detail and story and especially with fantasy the world building but if the readers don't like your characters and i've had this happen before too if they don't like the characters they're not going to keep reading but if they like the characters, guess what? You get recognized. So um, uh, I wasn't able to attend the, the gala that Next Generation Indie Book Awards had. Uh, life happens, whatever. But um, it's a little bittersweet, but almost uh, this is why I, you know, I wanted to jump on here because I actually wanted to say a few words. And they had so many um, awards they needed to give out that that was not possible. So here I am saying, my thank yous, um, next time I'm going to win, <laughs> but uh, this is really cool. This is really cool to have. Um, this tells me that I'm doing, I'm doing good. Um, I, I've, I've worked really hard, like really hard, really long time on my, my writing craft and to, to get uh, the recognition from this, um, yeah, it feels good. So. Um, Anyone out there who is um, discouraged, keep writing, keep pushing forward, read a lot. That, that definitely helped me in forming this, this particular series. Uh, read everything. Uh, go back and read old stuff. Um, but don't ever give up. And that is the thorough message for this entire uh, video, uh, what I wanted to say about it. And also, thank you so much.